In Suffolk, it was the Republicans who really had the big contest, but in Nassau, well, the Democrats. Yeah, two congressional seats there on the line and uh, a host of Democrats vying for those uh, seats. Let's get over to Kevin Vesey for the latest on that. Kevin. Well, Robert Zimmerman declared victory just a few moments ago, and you can see it is just an absolute party atmosphere right now inside this ballroom here in Great Neck, where he spoke to his supporters just moments ago. And you can see behind me, they're lining up to congratulate him right now as we speak. Let's try to see if we can pull Robert in right here, as he's with Ellen Birnbaum at the moment. Robert, do you have just a second? Hey, so congratulations. I see you have a lot of people who want to talk to you, so thank you for making a moment for us. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you. Thank you. So just... You were in a very crowded field here, five other candidates vying for the chance to run for Congress in November. Uh, so to what do you owe this victory today? Well, you know, as you can see around the room, so many people that came together to give us the love, the support and encouragement around our message of standing up for democratic values that really speak to the mainstream values of our congressional district. And I think that was, and the coalition we built with such great leadership from the labor community was so important. Union support was so defining and so important. Support from so many activists, so many community leaders, and so many great elected officials who are wonderful role models. You were talking about some of those values from the podium before when you were addressing your supporters. Uh, you were talking about standing up for voting rights. You were yes, talking indeed. about LGBT rights, uh, right. fighting the gun lobby. Well, that's the point. These issues that we talk about, standing up to protect our democracy, standing up to address the climate crisis, impact on our homes, more, making New York and making Long Island and Queens more affordable, standing up against the gun violence pandemic in our nation, standing up to, respect, to advocate for respecting the right for women to have a safe and legal abortion. These are issues that speak to the majority of our congressional district. And there are so many Republicans and independents who agree with us that they should know they've got a home in this campaign, and I'll be their voice in Washington. And you know as well as anyone else how important it is uh, to maintain the balance of power. Right now, you know, Democrats uh, risk losing their uh, majority in Congress. You're up against a candidate in George Santos who took Tom Suozzi to a recount. Uh, it was very close last time. Actually, George, uh, Tom Suozzi won by 12%. That's a pretty healthy victory Tom had last time. And I think, especially now, as we look at what defines the issues in our country, and look at who, who can speak to the, the issue of making America, making New York, making Long Island and Queens more affordable, I think our message of standing up on the issues of affordability, standing up to make sure we can build a stronger middle class, that speaks to the mainstream of this district. Unfortunately, George Santos speaks to a fringe mentality doesn't speak to the mainstream. All right, Robert Zimmerman, more, thank you so much. We'll more about that in the election. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so there you go. Robert Zimmerman declaring victory tonight in the 3rd Congressional District Democratic primary.